gets to uh, back the consolation statement and uh, we'll take up the case when we start with the overdraft balance as per the passbook. So here I'm going to do this. <coughs> when the overdraft balance as per the passbook is given, right? And this is uh, overdraft balance as per the passbook will be given and we have to arrive at the balance as per the uh, cash book, right? Now, overdraft or unfavorable balance as per the passbook means a debit balance in the bank. Normally, in the bank, we will have a credit balance if it is a favorable balance. In the case of an unfavorable or an overdraft balance, it is a debit balance in the bank, which means that we have overdrawn from the bank and the amount is payable to the bank, right? So any deposit made by the customer will result in the overdraft balance coming down and any uh, money withdrawn from the bank or any checks issued to creditors uh, or any debit made by the bank will lead to an increase in the overdraft balance, right? So uh, taking that as the basis, now we will see what are the items to be deducted and what are the items to be added uh, to arrive at the cash book balance when the unfavorable balance as per the passbook is given, right? First of all, I will write this. <coughs> unfavorable balance as per the passbook means a debit balance in the bank. Right? That is that is some amount has been overdrawn from the bank and this is payable to the bank. Right? Okay. Okay. Now uh, let's see. What are the items to be added and what is the reason for adding these items? Items to be added, the first one, checks issued but not presented for payment. Now remember when we uh, issue checks, right, that means you don't have money in the bank, you have already overdrawn, right, and again you are issuing the checks means it will add, it will add to the overdraft balance. So as soon as we issue the checks, we uh, add that in our cash book to the overdraft balance but the checks have not been presented for payment so as far as the bank is concerned the bank overdraft balance is still less as compared to the cash book right in the cash book the overdraft balance is more and here the bank it is less so we are uh, arriving at the balance as per the cash book here the cash book balance is more overdraft balance is more it should be added right next one checks deposited directly into the bank by a debtor right checks deposited directly into a into the bank by a debtor means the debtor directly deposits the money into the bank the bank credits the amount and the overdraft balance comes down Whereas in the cash book it has not been recorded yet. So in the cash book the overdraft balance is still more. So cash book overdraft balance is more. So it should be added. Right. Here. Interest allowed by the bank. But not recorded in the cash book. But not recorded in the cash book. Again when the interest is allowed by the bank. The bank credits the interest. Right? So overdraft balance comes down as per the passbook, but the same has not been recorded in the cash book means the overdraft balance is more in the cash book, so this should also be added, right? Dividend collected, when the bank collects any dividend, it is credited, right? So when it credits that amount, the overdraft balance comes down as per the passbook, but the cash book, the dividend will be entered only when we get the intimation till then the cash book overdraft balance will be more so this amount should also be added right any bill of exchange realized by the bank 
right? So this again reduces the overdraft balance as per the passbook, but as per the cash book, the overdraft balance will be more because the same would not have been recorded immediately, right, in the cash book, right? So overdraft balance as per the cash book would be more, right? <coughs> Any wrong credit given by the bank When the bank gives any wrong credit, obviously the amount is credited that means the overdraft balance comes down as per the passbook Since it is a wrong credit, it will not appear in the cash book so overdraft balance will be more in the cash book, right? Here Checks paid into the bank but not recorded in cash book, right? Checks paid into the bank means checks deposited into the bank, right? Checks have been deposited into the bank, the bank collects it and the bank credits the amount. So as per the bank, the overdraft balance comes down. But we have forgotten to record that in the cash book, cash book, sorry cash book right so here in the cash book the overdraft balance is more so wherever the cash book balance is more the overdraft balance as per the cash book is more it should be added so these are the cases where it should be added now let's see what are the items to be deducted <coughs> items to be deducted Checks deposited but not yet collected by the bank, right? So here the checks have been deposited. As soon as we deposit the checks, we put that entry in the cash book and the overdraft balance comes down as per the cash book. But in the past book, uh, the bank will credit the amount only when it collects that money, right? Okay. So, um, the overdraft balance as per the cash book is less, so this should be added, right, okay. Mm -hmm. Next one, checks recorded in cash book, but not sent for collection. So, checks have been received, right, and we have recorded the checks in the cash book. So, as soon as we record the checks in the cash book, the overdraft balance as per the cash book comes down. But the checks have not been sent for collection, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, the overdraft balance as per the cash book is less, right? Then checks or Bill of exchange dishonored, right? Whenever any check or uh, bill of exchange is dishonored, the bank debits the amount basically, right? So um, the overdraft balance as per the cash book is less, and as per the pass book, it will be more because that amount is debited in the pass book, right? Okay. So here again, the overdraft balance as per the cash book will be less, so it should be added, right? So it should be subtracted, right? Bank charges charged. Whenever the bank charges any any amount in the form of bank charges, right? Uh, the overdraft balance as per the passbook goes up. So comparatively, the overdraft balance as per the cash book is less. So this should be deducted, right? Interest charge. When the bank charges interest on your overdraft, right, it debits that amount, it debits that amount and it increases the overdraft balance as per the passbook. Whereas in the cash book it will be less because this interest charge would not have been recorded in the cash book, right. So this should be deducted, right. Direct payment by the bank as per the standing instruction of the customer, right? 
so anything like insurance premium at all, the bank has been instructed to pay it directly. So there again the bank debits the amount, the overdraft balance goes up in the past book, but the cash book it will be less because that amount would not have been recorded in the cash book and so until the bank intimates that they have made the payment, right? Any wrong debit by the bank. When the bank debits some amount erroneously, right? So that increases the uh, overdraft balance as per the passbook, whereas a wrong debit will not be reflected in the cash book. So the cash book overdraft will be less, right? So wherever the cash book overdraft balance is less, it should be deducted and whatever transaction that leads to an increase in the cash book overdraft balance, that should be added, right? Okay. So these are the items to be added and these are the items to be deducted here. And uh, this is the case we have taken up where we have been given the overdraft balance as per the passbook and we have to arrive at the overdraft balance as per the cash book. So whenever you are given the transaction you have to see the effect of those transactions in the cash book and then decide whether that transaction is to be added or to be deducted. Right. So in my next session I will take up a question on this case. So with that, I come to the end of this session. Bye.